You look very good swinging a sword, Yuri. You're not bad yourself, Estelle. Really? My swordmaster used to scold me terribly. Well, I have to admit I'd be surprised if you look too natural. I really don't like fighting. I don't like hurting people. How ladylike of you. But if I don't fight, I'll end up hurt myself, right? Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. I wish I could enjoy fighting like you do, Yuri. You think I enjoy this? Don't you? I mean, the way your eyes shine, that only happens when you're fighting. Oh, oh really? Wow, you're pretty observant. Yes, I like watching people. You need to lighten up. Guess we can do this. <laughs> I got a little worked up. information, aren't you? I read in a book once that a curse will fall upon anyone who enters the woods. Ah, so that must be the surprise. Not going in? That's fine by me, but what about Flynn? I know. Okay, let's go. Will this forest really get us to the other side of the hold? If it doesn't, we'll just come back. But what if I get turned into a frog or a snake by the forest's curse? If that happens, I'll take care of you. You'll... take care of me? Of course I would. Don't worry. I had pet frogs and snakes when I was a kid. If you got turned into a frog or a snake, Yuri, I wouldn't have any idea what to feed you. something my feet feel cold all of a sudden oh no is this the curse what sort of curse is it supposed to be anyway the voices of corpses buried beneath the trees creep up and lure us to our doom oh brother 
What's that? Blastia? What's it doing in a place like this? Let's take a break. I I'm all right. That's bitter. You all right? Oh, my head feels a little... I'll be fine. What happened to me? You just fell over all of a sudden. Don't you remember? Perhaps it was the air that made me dizzy. Air. That's sort of like the fuel that powers the Blastia, right? I heard that even though we can't see it, it's scattered through the atmosphere. Yes, that's air. I read once that dense air can have negative effects on people. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's what started the rumor of the curse. Hey, you only just woke up. You should rest a bit more. But I can't! If we don't catch up with Flynn soon... And what if you collapse again, and this time you're out for the whole night? You're right. I'm sorry. I suppose we'll never get full trying to eat these. It's delicious. Hold on a sec. I can make something simple. You can cook, Yuri? I'm not exactly a royal chef. I just have a few recipes I learned growing up. Aren't you worried at all that Flynn is in danger? Huh? Does it look that way? Well, yes. Honestly, I'm not worried about him. He's always managed to take care of himself. Actually, it's the guys who are after him I feel sorry for. What do you mean? Ever since we were kids, I've never been able to beat Flynn at anything. Swords, racing, whatever. After he'd won, he'd always have the nerve to say, You all right, Yuri? <laughs> that must be nice. I've never had... You can count yourself lucky. Well, dinner's ready. Thank you for the meal. Uh, it wasn't anything special. I thought it was very tasty. I can't imagine being able to cook anything myself. It's just like using a sword or magic. You've got to learn it by doing it. You just need to practice with a few recipes. You'll be cooking before you know it. Practice with recipes? Here, I'll show you how it's done. Well, cooking clears your mind. And it's great for regaining lost energy. Cooking has a lot of other effects as well. This is pretty much everything I know how to cook right now. So, in order to make a sandwich, you'll need bread and an egg. Which we just happen to have right here. After choosing the ingredients, it's time to cook. And, there you are. A delicious meal. You're so good at that. I'm not sure I'd be able to get that good at cooking. Well, it comes more naturally to some people than others. Just because you have a recipe doesn't mean it'll always turn out like you think. Really? So you can mess it up? Well, you usually taste your food while cooking. But some people don't. Tasting? You know, like when cooks taste the food they make? Well, you're a sheltered little princess who's lived her life in a castle. It's only normal. Sheltered little princess? I suppose so. What is it, Repeat? Well, shall we be going?
peed. When I passed out, you laid down and made the nicest pillow for me. Thank you very much. What are you doing? I'm, um, thanking Rapide. Rapide? He's not here. Huh? What? Maybe he doesn't like me. Nah, he acts like that with just about everybody. Well then, I'll just have to keep trying until he accepts me. easy. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Beach hey, I learned something. Monsters are easier to beat than I thought. Isn't that better than being harder than you thought? But I feel sorry for them. <sighs> You're way too nice. I don't particularly enjoy being someone else's dinner. You're right. This is different from inside the castle. The strong eat the weak. Well, we're not going to be eating any of these monsters. <clears throat> I... I won't hesitate to defeat any monsters. But I will never forget what I fought or where I fought it. Well, suit yourself, I guess. Then, when I return to the capital, I will make graves in memory of all the monsters I've killed. I... uh... I guess you could do that. I don't understand this girl at all. <sighs> Thank you. 
Very good. You'll get the runs. <clears throat> oh my gosh! S somebody help me! Ah! Is this kid for real? It's all right now. Huh? The monster turned into a girl? Ah, oh, brother. This should be interesting. I'm Carol Capel. I'm a member of the Hunting Blades Guild. We travel the globe in search of the toughest monsters. I'm Yuri. This is Estelle. And you've met Repeat already. Anyway, nice to meet you. What? Yuri, wait! My apologies. Huh? Hey, wait up! Where are you guys going? You guys are here to enter the woods, right? Well then, I'll... Actually, we've just finished coming through the woods and we're on our way to Halor. No way! You guys made it through the cursed woods? Did you guys run into any egg bears? Do you know what he's talking about, Yuri? Nope. I don't think we've seen any. Man, wonder if I should head back to town then. They definitely won't like it if I keep them waiting. All right. I'm not sure you two would make it on your own, but never fear. The star member of the Hunting Blades will be your escort. See that? I've even got my own Blastia. What? You guys both have one too? Uh, uh, oh, yeah? Whoa, how do you like that? It has information about monsters. Hmm? After a certain point, all the pages are blank. That's because I'm going to fill it up with piles of monsters after this. Hey, wait! Who said you could just ride in there? It might hurt your star member status if it got out that you broke your sword. Oh, that? I had to give myself some kind of handicap, or else it wouldn't have been a fair fight. Hey, that's actually not too bad. Yo! Do you guys even know where you're going? Halor's to the north once you get out of the woods! Come on, guys! Wait for me! dog with claws and fangs, but he uses weapons? Yeah, I guess dogs do usually fight with claws and fangs. Huh? But Repeat's a dog, isn't he? Repeat is Repeat. What does that mean? Whatever he is, Repeat doesn't think of himself as a dog. That's why he uses weapons and items. But that's not to say that he thinks of himself as a human, either. I don't really understand, but he seems very proud. Yep, so show him some respect. Hey, Yuri, are you translating what Repeat's saying? Nah, it's just your imagination. This 
one's pretty tough. We must be cautious. Blossoms. Yeah, that's right. Don't they have a barrier here? Yes, there should be. You guys haven't been to Halur before, right? So then you haven't heard about the tree barrier. Tree barrier? Some Blastia fuse to plant life, gain organic qualities, and evolve. The tree barrier of Halur is one prime example of this. I read that in a book. Well, thank you, Professor. So what's happened to this famous barrier? Doesn't look like it's doing much right now. Every year, just before the blossoms are in full bloom, the barrier weakens for a while. It's just that time of year right now. And the monsters took the opportunity to attack. Is that when the barrier went down? Yeah, the monsters were taken care of, but the tree is slowly starting to decay. Hey! Wh what is it? Sorry, I gotta run! Bye! Does that kid ever sit still? So I guess you'll be looking for Flynn now, huh, Estelle? <sighs> Doesn't she know we need to keep a low profile? And what happened to looking for Flynn? healing arts you have. How can we ever thank you? No, really. Think nothing of it. What a humble young lady. I wish the Imperial Knights could follow your example. Not a chance. The Knights refuse to lift a finger to protect us from the monsters. 
Well, I guess the Empire couldn't care less what happens to us here. No, th that's not true. Ah, uh, but that one night sure was different, wasn't he? Yes, that young man. If not for him, we would have all been lost. The barrier weakened earlier than usual this year, and we were attacked before the guild could come to protect us. There was a knight who happened to be passing through our town on a pilgrimage. He and his brigade drove off all the monsters. A knight on a pilgrimage? Was this knight named Flynn by any chance? Yes, his name was Flynn Shifo. Is he still in the city? No, he left the village afterwards in search of a mage who could fix the barrier. You know where he went? It looked like he was headed east, but beyond that I couldn't tell you. I see. So we can wait here, and Flynn will come to us. Looks like we've caught up with him. Don't you feel better now? Yes. I won't be able to relax until I see him. But I guess I feel better. I think I'll go have a look at this famous tree. Want to come with? Ah, uh, yes. Yuri, you don't mind? You're okay not going after the Blastia core thief? I can spare enough time to look at a tree at least. This Carol guy is kind of weird. He does seem a bit restless, but that doesn't make him a bad person. He doesn't seem evil. Well, I'll bet he's got some weird thoughts going on in his head. You're only saying that because you can see some of yourself in him. You think the two of us are alike? Yes. It's like you have genuine emotions, but your pride won't let you show them. So I can't bring myself to dislike him. Huh. <laughs> Did I upset you? No, that's just some pretty deep insight about people you only just met, is all. Hey! <sighs> I had the wrong person. And none of the others from the guild are here either. I kept her waiting so long. She must have gotten mad and left. I wanted to show her Halur's flowers in full bloom. Then maybe... Carol, what's the matter? Where'd she go? Is she really gone? I'm doing the best I can. Carol? Let's give him some time alone. It's over. It's over. It's all over. It's really over. Everything. Everything is over. We got weapons now, who we're gonna beat those monsters! The mayor's gonna let us fight now! Let's beat up those monsters just like Flynn! Yeah! Even those kids are trying to fight. I hope the barrier is restored soon. Me too. Even though Dadenhold was struggling without a barrier, they'd have had issues even with one. Yes, barriers really do have a big impact on people's day-to-day -day lives. Well, they keep people safe from monsters just by being there. It's no surprise it changes things. I want to help heal Halur's tree as soon as possible so that everyone can feel safe again. It's huge up close. The tree's flowers should blossom any day now. Yeah, I wish I could see it in bloom. I know how you feel. There's something about the image of a tall tree vibrant with blossoms and protecting the city that's so... romantic. You know, I'm gonna stay here and help heal the injured. Hmm, if you're gonna heal something, maybe you could heal the barrier itself. What do you mean? When monsters come again, more people are gonna get hurt. Those kids we just saw could be among them. That's true, but I have no idea how I could heal the barrier. What you need to heal is this tree. It wouldn't be in this condition just because some monsters attacked it. You think there's some other reason? I think there's gotta be. What are the two of you doing over here? We're trying to figure out why the tree has withered like this. I don't know if you'll make much progress on that one. The Knight Flynn couldn't figure out the reason either. Oh, Carol! Carol, we need your help! What are you 
talking about? It seems these two were trying to figure out the reason the trees withered so. Oh, is that all? What do you mean, is that all? I know the reason. It's why I was in the forest looking for the egg bear. Huh? What are you talking about? Look closely at the ground. Notice the strange color? That color is where the ground absorbed the blood of monsters who attacked the town. That blood has been poisoning Halur's tree. What? The monster blood? I had no idea. Carol, you really know your stuff, don't you? It was nothing. Is there anything we can do to get rid of the poison? I know a way, but... Well, no one believes me. Come on, try us. I think we'd be able to do it if we had a panacea bottle. Maybe we can get one in the general store. Let's go, Yuri. I can't wait until the tree's blossoms are in full bloom. They'll be fantastic. I bet there's a flood of petals big enough to just sweep you away. All those petals dancing in the breeze, it'd be like a dream. I wonder how they deal with all their houses getting buried in flowers every year. That's gotta be a pain to clean up. You really take the fun out of things, Yuri.